Hello and welcome to Mobility Mastery Monday. I'm Alicia and this is the place to be if you want to lose the pain, lose your fear of pain, learn to trust your body, and do what you love for life. No matter what activities you're engaged in, or even if you just work on your feet all day or sit at a desk, chances are you have tight calf fascia. Maybe you even have some fascial adhesions or restrictions in there that are pulling on joints and causing pain. Calves can affect everything from you know, your feet, including causing plantar fasciitis, to things like knee pain and all the way up the chain. So releasing your calf fascia is gonna be a really important tool for your mobility routine if you wanna take care of your fascia at home. Now, a couple years ago, I released a video that went pretty viral and it's because it really freaking works and it targets so many things in the calf compartment. So if you want to go after your calf fascia and other, uh, you know, kind of peripheral tissue as well, including tibialis anterior and your peroneals or shin muscles, then that would be my top recommendation. But in the last couple of years, I've gotten a lot of emails and requests from people for an alternative because they have a really hard time getting into that position. Um, so if that's you, then I want to offer you an alternative today for releasing your calf fascia in a much easier manner. So you're going to be on the ground for this using a foam roller. I'm using a soft one here, but you could really use any that you prefer. If you go to a harder one, it's going to be a bit more painful, but it's also probably going to work a little bit better. I would not use a knobby foam roller. That's not one I ever recommend for fascial release. So just keep in mind here that we're not actually rolling on the fascia. We're trying to release um, fascial adhesions and stretch out the whole system. So you're going to place whatever leg you're working on onto the foam roller and then use your hands and this other foot that you're not working on up. So you're basically just pushing your hips up and what this does is it loads your body weight into the calf and onto the roller. And that creates a really nice compression into the calf tissue. And then I'm going to use some foot movement to basically stretch out and release that calf fascia. So this could look like pointing and flexing. If you want to start there, it's a great place to start. And then you would want to work up to doing a circle. So you're doing it from your ankle and maybe a little bit from the knee and the hip as well, but I'm not trying to exaggerate this and roll on the roller. So we're really trying to pin that fascia and stretch it. And I'm starting high and then we're gonna work our way down. And if you go one direction, definitely go in the other direction as well. You may find that it feels a bit different, one versus the other. If being up like this feels too hard on you or if for some reason you can't do it due to an upper body injury or maybe back issues, you know, just start, start with what you got. Um, just rest your leg weight on there. You could maybe put your other foot there to get a little bit more compression and then you would do the same thing. And I don't know if you can see it right here, but there's a little clunk. Boink. <laughs> um, I have had historically tight calves my whole life. So I often have to work on them and they have knots in them or adhesions. So I'm always trying to work those out. And this is a really great way to do it. So basically, if you're gonna go after your whole calf, which I definitely recommend, then start high and you're gonna find something maybe on this lateral part by the knee, especially if you have knee pain. Um, and then you're gonna work your way down. So maybe start there and then you're gonna go to the middle and then a little lower. And then you can get into this, um, low calf Achilles soleus area where all those muscles get kind of stuck together. There's a ton of fascia down there where the Achilles starts. So definitely work your way all the way down there. And that's basically it. So definitely give both of these techniques a try and pick whichever one works best for you. If you try the one stretch and you just can't get into that position, definitely use this. It's going to be far better than nothing. You're going to have to work a little bit harder, maybe do a little bit more work to get the same result. Um, but I actually will say real quick that using the foam roller will probably target those adhesions a little bit better than the one stretch. The one stretch is an amazing overall, basically fascial stretch for that whole compartment, but it doesn't necessarily go after the adhesions quite as well, especially if you don't know you're looking for them. So I would give both of these a try and maybe you're gonna use them interchangeably, but no matter what, if you wanna take care of your body, definitely target your calf fascia because I'm pretty sure all of us could use it. If you know anyone who needs a calf release right now, maybe pass this along to them. And of course, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. 
If you want new episodes emailed directly to your inbox, you can subscribe to our free newsletter at mobilitymastery.com. And of course you can subscribe here on YouTube as well. As always, I hope you're learning to trust your body so you can adventure through life with confidence.